What is going on my peeps and man versatiles back with another video back here to talk about the latest leaks yes renders of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3 yes wait what there's no Z Flip 2 that's because again just like we saw with their Galaxy Watch Active Series they skipped the Model 3 because there was no 3 and skipped it to 4 to match with the Galaxy Watch 4 even with their phones now, they're skipping to make sure all their phones basically have the same number. I guess it's just for business purposes. I don't think us as customers really pay attention to that number as much. But yes, nonetheless, it's the Z Flip 3, no Z Flip 2. Now, before we get into what they look like, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that we never miss my videos. Then we can sit back, chillax, see what's cracking. It would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's get into the video. And the first thing we're gonna see and look at is the Z Fold 3. Yes, by looking at the pictures on display now, you see it looks like it's a little bit thicker. And if we pay attention to this picture in particular, you will see that an S Pen is involved. Now, I'm not saying the S Pen is going to be able to be slotted with it, but I think you might be able to buy the S Pen with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I don't think it will be coming with the Z Fold 3. I hope it will, but considering that, you know, rumors about the price of the Z Fold 3 is also dropping to like just under $1,700, I wouldn't be surprised if they still packaged it in, but I'm also not gonna be surprised if you have to buy it separately, much like the Galaxy S21 Ultra. You had to buy the S Pen separately. And if you look at this other picture with it open up, we're gonna to get to that other device in a second. You see here with it open up, it still relatively looks the same in terms of the resolution or the aspect, the size of the Z Fold 3 in terms of the display. So that's a device, you know, I didn't get to use a Z Fold 2, but I definitely would have liked to had I been able to get my hands on it. And the Z Fold 3 is going to be that much better. Now, being thicker potentially means we're going to get bigger battery, and I think we're probably going to get better cameras. As you guys see, they're kind of going with the tablet's version of, like, the camera design in terms of being more rounded as opposed to more squarish or squircle it uh, i guess it would be squircle yeah so that's also interesting to see here with the z fold 3 we see the fingerprint sensor right there so yes it's it's going to be a very interesting device regardless because samsung makes great hardware now before we get into the z fold 3 let's remember what was and is the galaxy z flip yes i've had it for a while I might be dropping a, soon, a video soon, you know, about further thoughts on it. You know, I've had it for a year now, basically, or almost a year, be a year in September. Have had no issues with it. Beautiful device. Open it up. Now, the only thing I don't like is that when you do open it, for some reason, it decides to always go back to your last app as, as opposed to just going to the home screen. And you guys won't see me change my wallpaper on this Z Flip for a while because I like the all black look. And I did clean the screen. I think I got a couple micro scratches, but nothing that interferes with the ability to use the device. I thoroughly enjoy this device. And it still has that uber good clasp. And I like the pocket size still. Now, the reason why we wanted to highlight the Z Flip is because we wanted to look at some differences between this and the z fold 3 as we see here there looks to be another color in this yellowish color which looks good i'm not gonna lie the hinge looks smaller if you guys can see there the hinge looks a whole lot smaller than the or thinner i should say than this which means that the device may in fact be a little thinner you know from a, a sandwich perspective right and then when you look at the front blatantly we see that they reoriented the cameras to go vertical as opposed to horizontal the camera modules look bigger right the flash is above it and then we get a bigger display for information now the one thing i'm hoping that will be different here is that you can change the font size so that way you can actually fit more on the screen here because it's looking like it's not which kind of almost defeats the purpose of having that much bigger of a display but I'm hoping that the bigger display will allow you to be able to read more text messages. I guess a lot of people thought the whole front side would be 
similar to the Razer's flip phone where there was more display and you could be more active with it. So it will be interesting to see what Samsung would do there in terms of this bigger display from the first gen Z Flip and I have the 5G model and it looks like they're going to maintain the frosty look in terms of coloring. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see that as well. So in terms of the Z Fold 3, are you guys excited? Are you guys looking forward to the Z3? Somebody just drove by. Uh, are you looking forward to the price drop? Does that make it more uh, affordable for you or more of a, a thought to consider buying a Z Fold 3? If you use the Z Fold 2, are you still happy with your Z Fold 2? Do you feel like you'll need to upgrade or you'll want to upgrade to the Z Fold 3? Let me know down in the comment section below. For us who have the Z Flip, are we looking at upgrading to the Z Flip 3? I know I personally will be, especially if they give us good trade-in discounts like they did for the S21 series. Those who did not contemplate the Z Flip, uh, Z Flip it was priced at around 1200 uh, or 1400 for the 5G model and 1200 for the, for the 4G model, 4G LTE model. Were those prices just a bit out of hand for the Z Flip for you guys? With the price dropping down to I think 1200 ish for the device, which is like $200 cheaper overall. <clears throat> was that more enticing for you to grab the Z Flip 3? Are you now gonna finally jump into the flip game and grab a flippable device or a foldable device, the Z Flip 3 in particular? Let me know down in the comment section below. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you guys could ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that you never miss my videos. Then we can sit back, chillax, see what's cracking. But your man Broso is signing out, and until the next video, wait for.